Tuesday. So a couple of techniques, embossing paste and embossing powder, which is they're both great fun to work with and give a really lovely dimension to your cards and your projects. So do hit that subscribe button if you're not following me already and you can hit the bell to get notifications of when I do these lives or when I have any videos loaded. Um, do comment below and you can give me a free thumbs up. <laughs> you could do that at the end of the video if you like. Hello to you if you're watching replay. Lovely to have you join me. So let's get started. Just hold on to your lunches while I turn you around. Where are you? There, that's the view we want. Okay, so in front of me I've got a piece of a Whisper white cardstock and this is the wrong size. I'll, um, I need that for something else in a minute. Welcome Steph. Good morning Deborah. These Americans up early. So it's uh, 20 past 12 in the afternoon here in the UK. Hey Navarana, good to see you. So starting with a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it measures five and five eighths by blah, blah, blah. five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Hi, oh, now Forest Crafts, remind me of your name please. Hi Vicky. Cool, is it late in Australia? I'm just going to say hello to everyone and then I'll get started. Hey Janice, lovely to have you on. Um, hi, hi Vicky, um, Kay, hi Kay, I'm trying to think who I missed, welcome, okay, so um, I've got a bit of washi tape, here's one I used earlier, <laughs> it's good to use, like, if you have a, um, this is a bit bumpy, but if you've got a grid paper like this, it is handy to be able to just align your work um, into position, so you know where it's where it's falling, you don't have wonky projects. I don't want to use up my, that one. 11.20, whoa, got both ends of the scale, 11.20. Janice, you're in New Zealand, not New Zealand. Mm. Remind me where you're from. So if you're wondering who I'm chatting to, um, the live chat button will eventually show itself after <laughs> a little while. Um, after the broadcast so um, although you might not see it straight away you will see it later so I'm using um, Stampin' Up! embossing paste and it's lovely stuff you've got to keep it nice and airtight or else it does dry out and it's like cream frosting or shaving foam but th thicker than shaving foam and it doesn't melt away like shaving foam and it's got a slight texture to it so I'm going to lay down the paste onto my trees like so, oh, love it. And smoothing it out like this onto a tree. So these palette knives, they come in, there's three different ones. I used a different one earlier. This one's good for smoothing, like if you want a smoother texture. And I'm guessing the other one is better for, well, they're all different. You use different tools for different things, don't you? You could add a bit more texture to this, I suppose. I'm just going to wipe off any excess but not I don't want to take off too much and just because I want it to be textured so take your time this when I first <laughs> tried this stuff I was a little bit worried about using it I was like oh I don't know what to do but it's just to work with it and just you know experiment with the amount of depth of paste that you need oh Deborah says she spent hours looking for her embossing her embossing paste only to remember that she only had silver what the embossing powder or embossing paste oh that's sad <laughs> oh i'm sorry i'm sorry for you all right make sure that lid is nice and secure next to me i'll just show you Oop. i've got a container of water i'm just going to put my palette knife in there to rinse it off it's really important that you rinse you don't leave it lying around because it does dry on hard onto your stencils and to your tools. So um, I'll show you the other tools in the in the shed. <laughs> you got like a spatula one and like a trowel one. I keep them all in that bag together. And this mask or this stencil comes in other designs as well. So I'm going to peel this away, and this is going to go now into my water. So it doesn't dry fast onto my stencil. 
So you can obviously leave this as it is and it'll look beautiful because you've got that white embossing with the paste. The paste, I had everything ready to use my mask and oops, told you my memory is bad, says Deborah. Oh, that's a shame. So now I'm going to do something else to this and not leave it like this. I'm going to get my silver embossing paste. Now, because I don't want this to fall like all over, I'm going to hold on to, I'm just going to switch on my heat gun because the, it takes a little while to heat up. So um, I'm going to, oh. I can't do it left-handed, it's a little bit tricky. Um, I'm going to drop the paste on, but at a kind of vertical angle, because I want it kind of a little bit more one-sided, if that makes sense. So I don't want to cover completely the, um, the paste, but I want it to have a bit of the silver on it. And I'm just going to tap the back, get off any excess. Sorry, I had a little visitor at my door there. I could put a bit more on. Sorry you're late, that's okay, Anna. Um, okay, just make sure I haven't missed any comments. Sorry for that pause, I just had to sort my son out for two seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna, whoa, gonna whack up the heat on my heat tool. So this will, yeah, like silver birch trees, exactly. So this will um, not only help to dry the moisture from the paste, but it will heat the um, embossing as well. Welcome, Tina. Lovely to see you. And I'm going to assume you in for this bit because it's very exciting to watch. So if you leave the heat over it too long, it will start bub uh, bubbling. Say bubbling then. So. Um, you don't want to leave it on too long. So my tweezers are squashing that bit there. So it might take a little bit longer than if you're just doing this straight onto cards because, like I said, it's taking out the moisture from the embossing paste at the same time. So I'm a bit cat handed with my tweezers. Can you guys see that? Probably... There we go. I'm trying to keep it moving around as soon as it starts to change I'm moving it <laughs> I just saw something about somebody's son pestering them for screen time that's what that opening of the door was just now and I thought oh, I can let them have half an hour so that I can have peace and quiet for a bit <clears throat> you have to do a half an hour reading an actual book first I should have done that shouldn't I Told them they should read first. There, look at that. So now you've got that double emboss. You've got the cool effect of the trees and you've got the cool effect of the silver sparkle. I'm going to use this for some Christmas cards, I think. If you see this again, <laughs> you know where it's come from. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi there, Carol. Let me just have a sip of mm, cold coffee. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, we're going to put that aside for a minute and just let that properly dry. And now, friends, I want to do some more heat embossing. Woohoo! Be pleased to know. I'm just going to put on the heat tool. Now, I did have this butterfly, but I'm going to change it. I decided I'm going to have, I want that one there. Which one is that one? So I'm using stamps from a stamp set called Butterfly Gala. So pretty. If you're into butterflies, this is the stamp set for you. It's got loads of butterflies and the small butterflies as well. And it comes with a matching punch, which means it cuts out those shapes. Where's my embossing buddy disappeared to? Oh, great. Where's he gone? There you are. You're hiding. Now, um, like our fellow demonstrator's niece in America, who's Ladybug Stampin', she and I both have had our embossing buddies for absolutely years. I mean, I dread to think how long this thing for. And it's, it's getting a little bit flat, but it still works. 
Um, because Stampin' Up! are going to stop selling them, I've just got an ordered one. <laughs> oh, Anna. I tried that the other day, um, getting them to read for, like, have a half hour's reading. And um, I could hear them not reading and mucking about upstairs. Anna was not a happy mummy, shall we say. Stormed upstairs. I was like, that is not reading quietly. I told you to read <laughs> quietly in your bedrooms and you're not doing that. Now, you won't be able to see this because this is clear ink. I can just about see it. But bear with because the magic will still happen. Kay says that's a cool effect for trees. Thank you, Kay. Right. Um, then we're going to go in with the silver again. And this is where you'll be able to see the image that I've stamped. So the reason why we put that um, dust cloth over it, <laughs> the embossing buddy, is to just stop it from sticking on any grease or any, any oils that come off your fingers, basically. So Tuesdays are my Facebook and YouTube live nights, and I'm normally on in the evenings, which I will be back. But because I had these bits out already, um, I decided to come on here and share it with you. Navarana says, I just made my own cornstarch in a little cloth pouch and it works perfectly. Yeah, I haven't heard about um, doing your own. Sorry about the noise, now would be a good time to turn down your volume if, you, if this is too loud for you. Heating the back first, just get it done. Anna says, school work is done at the dining table so we can make sure they are actually doing it. Ah, so you've got this room down haven't you Anna you've got this sorted look at I look there's something so magical about embossing isn't there to go from dull like that to that lovely shiny smooth emboss and if you heat the back it just helps to like take away the um what you call it the uh, warping of the heat. It's always great to have double bubble time with you on here. <laughs> Thank you. Double bubble. There we go. Look at that. So in order to colour these in, I've chosen some blues, blue and silver, classic. Absolutely lovely combination. So I'm going to get my blender pens to colour these buttes in. So I've chosen Seaside Spray and Balmy Blue. Ah, oh, Vicky says, I love embossing, but I just don't use it enough. I think the secret is having it nearby, having it out. <laughs> Anna, you're making me laugh. Um, now that my embossing is more reachable, shall I say, if that's a word, I'm just going to squash my ink pad so that it trans... Oh, she says, this one looks as if it needs some more. Oh, yeah, this needs re-inking, but I haven't got a re-ink. i give it a bit of resuscitation. Oh, well, I'll just use what I've got. Uh, what were we saying? Yes, yeah, having it in, in a more reachable area, I think it makes me use it more. So these blues, as you can see, are different. So I'm going to go in with the kind of, I don't know, the brighter blue, if you want to call it that, and just concentrate on the middle. I'm not, like, spending ages. I'm just kind of doing it like that, basically. So concentrating on a darker shade in the centre of the butterflies and then we're just working out and then we're going to blend this in with the other colour in a minute. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Uh, Navarano says some of the 1 to 10 classes are back to school from next week in Denmark. So we were, certain year groups were supposed to be back. Um, but yeah, it's all a bit up in the air here at the moment because it's just all dependent on workplaces and whether schools can cope with having kids back. And there's a lot of changes. There's a lot to cope with and to figure out. And not everybody has the answers. And I think um, we expect the answers immediately, but they can't always. It's not always that clear cut, is it? But I'm not going to talk about that, <laughs> otherwise I'll just end up giving my own opinion and I'm not going to talk about that. I don't, I try not to share politics on Facebook. Um, I, to be honest, I know politics affects us all, I've only more recently got into it. 
<laughs> that makes sense because you have to don't you um Kay loves the blues and silvers together new zealand goes back to school next monday too so if that's the what color was that oh me and this is seaside spray so oh this is actually and i am going to leave a bit of white space around the edges of the butterfly because you don't need to colour the complete image in and it's just quite nice to keep it a bit fresh, have a bit of movement. I'm wondering if I should have done it the opposite way, but it doesn't really matter, really. I just wanted kind of two shades of blue, so it looks like they were blended together. So welcome if you're new to my channel. Lovely to have your company. Don't forget that if you subscribe and press the bell, then it will give you notifications of when I am live or if I've... If you could, there's there's options to give you no different notifications so you can um be notified of all but you need to set that up thank you carol likes this idea of what i'm doing here <laughs> beautiful she says thank you you just wait carol i made one earlier and i think you guys will like that one but i wanted to try a different colorway and in fact i'm tempted to try even another color way after this which i have in mind so if you want to stick around you can because sometimes it's nice to see the same thing but in a different version 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 how do you say it version or version <laughs> doesn't matter does it so somewhere around here my <laughs> my poor desk gets encroached upon i am trying to spread out my space but it's very difficult <laughs> My RT, RT, R, how do you pronounce that? Arteza pens look great with embossing. I never heard of those before. So this is a paper punch and it matches perfectly where the butterflies are. So if you turn your punch over and slip the paper through like so, don't worry about that crunch, it was just my stamp case shutting. And hold it halfway and it kind of locks the paper into the place. And if you push even further, it punches the butterflies out. So I kind of don't bother with the butter bodies. There is some bodies in there. In fact, I might have... Oh no, I've lost some antennae, I think. I've got the bodies, but lost the antennae. But I just think, oh, I spend here sometimes without the faffing around with the bodies. Sorry, butterflies. But in this case, you know. Now, if you did want to get more out of your paper, um, it's best to turn it... Maybe cut your paper in strips, turn it around, and have the butterfly going the other way, and then this way, and then the other way, you know. Oh, the water, uh, uh, I can't pronounce that name, Arte, Arteza, Arteza pens, uh, brush, watercolour brush pens. It's not too a normal school day. Interesting is I'm a teacher. Oh, yes. Ah, so you've got a bit more crafting time. Good, good. <laughs> right, now the question is, which colour background do we put it on? So I've cut out three different colours. Um, I've got balmy blue, seaside spray, and even night of navy. So let's audition. So this is on balmy. Oh, it's like a winter wonderland. Walking in the winter wonderland, and. <laughs> Kay shouting navy, not on the navy. This is on. Hold your horses. Uh, this is me. This is balmy blue. And then <laughs> go navy. This is on the navy. You change it. I think it makes it a little bit confusing with that. There we go. So, can you see that? What colour do you like it on? Navy, balmy, seaside. While you get your votes in, I'm going to do a sentiment to go with this. In fact, I can't until your votes are in. So let me know. Balmy, which is balmy, that one. Or we could be, oh, it's a little bit tricky to do a double layer, really. I'm going to stick to one layer. Lots of votes for Balmy. 
Navy bring to oh, Navy and Seaside spray. Navy, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I think Navy has won it. I think Navy has just nipped it in there. Okay, the public have spoken. Let's go for navy. It was not what I would choose. I think I would have chosen balmy or even seaside. Actually, I might just go with my own decision. <laughs> this just looks a bit calmer to me. Let's just have, sorry. I know it's a bit of faffing, but you've got to make the right decision. You can make another one. Right, no, sorry. It's, you know when it just doesn't sit right with you? <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. It's important because I want the sentiment to be... Um... I, I choose, I choose. Okay, so what colour is that? And then I'm going to... Handy little strip in here. It's just what I'm looking for. I've got a sentiment. I wonder if this is too thin. Oh, that would be super tight. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to, I want to put a sentiment on here. And I think I'm going to use a silver again for this one. What am I looking for now? Lester, don't put things down. Oh, rotate device. Why? Are we all right? <laughs> it said rotate device then. That was weird. Am I still coming at you? Can you guys see me all right? Is the video okay? Because, of course, I did a Facebook video yesterday. It was awful. Oh, good. Um, yeah, the picture was really fuzzy. And this was on my personal page. It was even, I, was like, oh, I don't know which is worse. <laughs> Hurt a little bit to that. I've got me embossing buddy, but I got away with it. You should see my mask. Is that a mixture? Did you mean to write mask? As in desk and mess? Because that's a really good word. Thank you for letting me know. It's all good in the hood. It's all good in the crafting hood. There we go. You're on my mind. That's a line from a song. I won't sing it. Okay. Chippity chop. Oh, I like that, Anna. You should see my mask. <laughs> right, I might even give in and show you the one that I made earlier and then make another one. Okay. So if you're part of my... Facebook group, which is SSC, standing for Stampin' Star Creations. Um, what am I looking for now? Some adhesive would be good. Then I'm going to set a challenge to en to use embossing. Um, but I'm I think heat embossing. Should I be specific or non-specific? I'll say embossing in case people don't have heat embossing. Okay, so let's get this bad boy stuck down. This is multi-liquid purpose glue, so nice and um, liquidy <laughs> and nice and sticky too. It gives you a chance just to, unlike tapes which you kind of, which hold fast, the, well this holds fast, but um, just gives you a chance to move it if it's, if something's happened. I like to spread out, says Anna. It's why the garage is now a craft bunker. Freezing, no windows and rubbish phone reception. Oh, you've got to fix that. You've got to come back in the house. Look at the shine. Look at the shimmer. Look at the shine. Right, for the sentiment, I'm going to use tape because look, it's made for it. And you could just tear it off. That's why it's called tear and tape. So make sure it's like stuck down good and proper before you try and lift it up. Oh, 
There we go. Just peel off the backing and then you can stick this on. I think this is just a lovely sentiment, particularly at the moment. This would be a lovely card to send. No phone means no interruptions. This is true. <laughs> this is equally true. So I'm only going to use two butterflies and then the three small ones. I'm going to turn them over. And then I'm going to... Oh, where's... oh, there you are. So I've got everything in like 20 centimetres of me. <laughs> In very near vicinity, I just got to find it. <laughs> oh dear. And then that one and that one. And one on this side deliberately, okay? Oh, you're welcome, Tina. She says, This is so beautiful, Esther. Thank you for showing that technique. I have a heater I use to. I used to use the dining room, but it looks like Hobby Craft had <laughs> exploded over it. Oh, it's funny, Anna. So I'm going to go in with, I've chopped my nails, which is probably not the easiest things to lift off the backings. But if you struggle with that, you can use the um, pokey tool just to flick off the backings. I'll show you that in a minute. And then I'm going to go in with some glue dots. I'm going to do two glue dots because I want to make sure they like definitely stick. So... Well, I was going to show you that trick. So you kind of go at an angle, go in at an angle, and then you can prick and flick. <laughs> that sounds really dodgy. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't mean that to sound rude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it did, didn't it? I better not say that again. <laughs> anyway, let's just carry on crafting, shall we? Oh dear, right, there we go. Let's just peel that off. Now, the reason why I did, I wanted it on one side, it's a little bit tricky to have the um, dimensions on both sides. So I want this one to be the opposite, like the butterfly, the wing to be opposite. One of my cats keeps in my sparkly craft string and phone tape. Ah, oh, Bandit, that's a cool name for a cat. Good morning, Tammy. <laughs> Deborah thinks I'm on the, uh, you know, on the alcohol. No, I've just got cold coffee, look. <laughs> Sorry, missed that, what was <laughs> Ruth, <laughs> Ruth, you're not gonna let me leave that one down, are you, no? <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. There we go. Right, let's just... Cold coffee is better than cold tea. Do you know what? I've got into drinking both if it, if needs be. If I need a drink, it's like I need a drink. Actually, look, because of, I've been distracted, that wasn't going to go there. But there we go. I know, Ruth hovering in the background there. <laughs> she, she heard something and she was on it. She was like, what did she say? <laughs> so... <laughs> For the inside, you know what, because it's a light colour, I don't tend to put a, um, what do you call it, insert. <laughs> oh, gin and coffee, no thank you. Although I do like Tia Maria, that's like a coffee liqueur, isn't it? What's in the coffee to make it so cold? <laughs> oh dear. Yes, Ruth. I'm not going to... So anyway, right, who wants to see this in copper and pink? Here's one I made earlier. And then if you want to stick around, I'm going to show you a gold one. Well, I've not made it yet, but I want to make a gold one. Okay. Ta -da! I'm loving the pink and the copper. Just saying. So that's what made me try the silver and the blue. And now we've got to try the gold and purple. So I might use these for sympathy cards. I've got a couple that I need to give um, to people. So, And I think that's a nice kind of thing to say, isn't it? 
So, if you want to stick around, I just might have to clear down a few bits and bobs. And uh, do you prefer the um, copper one? I really like the copper one. So I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this. Don't need that. Don't need that. Thank you. Oh, I don't need that. Need that, need that, need that, need that, need that. Okay, so I'm just trying to like clear. <laughs> this isn't really working. My plan of trying to clear a little bit off isn't really working. Move that there, it needs that. Okay, let's have a look. So I need to dry off the. Right, let's move these out of the way. I don't want them to get ruined. I'm just going to, just bear with, just talk amongst yourselves, as they say, as Ruth would say. <laughs> oh dear, so now would be a good time to uh, subscribe to my channel, or think about subscribing when you come off of here. You can give me a thumbs up, if you've really enjoyed this technique and maybe never seen it before, go, yeah, I loved it. Give me a thumbs up. You can comment after the video. Let me know which one was your fave. And I'm just off to the side drying off my mask. I'm going to still use the tree one, I think, because I want to see what it looks like in gold. So just off to the side here, I've got a towel. I've got my tray of water to put my stencil straight in. And I'm just, oh, he's dropped on the floor. He's dropped on the floor, everybody. He's dropped on the floor. Come back. I need you here. Right, I just want to dry this off before we do another. Okie pokey. I'm a bit dangerous with water on my table. So I've got to be extra careful. <laughs> right, I know there's a few people who might be a little bit... Well, mind you, I've been accident prone as well. I've had a tea spill. I found, I found the perfect mug to stop my tea spilling. Okay, there's a bit of mark, but that's okay. Right, let's find gold. Gold! <clears throat> Just give you one-liners, shall I? Of songs, <laughs> and then stop there. Okay. So what was the consensus? I missed it. Love my gold embossing powder. That's okay, Stacey, you're in time for another one. Jagermeister is lovely in coffee. Not heard of Jagermeister. Right, let's do gold. <laughs> oh dear, I'll just entertain myself, shall I? Right, <laughs> and anyone that's watching. Uh, paste. Put that away. Where is the gold? That was the gold, Esther. Gold. Putting the silver one away. Okay, let's do this. Pronounce Jaeger. Oh, like as in Jaeger bombs. I would never have thought of using embossing on the paste it's a stunning a stunning effect yeah you can do it if you the longer you leave it on like i said it will bobble look can you see my rainbows look can you see that my paste ah oh, pretty i've got a um it's only a plastic cheapy crystal hanging in the window but it when it catches the sun it's lovely oh i do do feel like a brick layer and a cake maker when i do this i love it both at the same time, a bricklayer and a cake maker. Now I'm going to try something. Oh, that was just the perfect amount. I want to try something to make it just a little bit more textured. So I'm going to dab it a little bit just to give it a bit of texture. Okay, it helps if you can see, wouldn't it? You didn't tell me you can't see what I'm doing. Okay, let's dry him off. Finished with that. Do the great reveal. I love doing this. Hi, Christine. Good to see you. I've been looking for my mum all week and still can't find them. But now I have to look even harder. Just keep searching. I've got copper powder, but I do have copper pigment ink and 3D clear powder. Go for it. Just try it. If it blows up, then don't blame me. <laughs> it shouldn't do. <laughs> right, so we're going for gold. Going for gold. 
and same again now this time I won't be so cat handed I know what I'm doing now left hand tweezers right hand embossing powder it makes it so much easier these are the tweezers I wanted instead sorry <coughs> excuse me um here goes oh we're going to go in this angle shall we okay so upright angle to get that kind of one-sided emphasis not too much I don't want it completely covered she says just a bit more there They say if you have a silver birch tree, you should stroke the trunk and it will enhance the colour of the bark. That's very interesting. We've got silver birch at the front of our house. I thought you were going to tell me some old wives tale, some kind of superstition about if you stroke the bark, it'll bring you luck or something. <laughs> oh dear. The paste is great for foiling without heat. Oh, that's interesting. Makes it more susceptible to pesticides. Okay, volume's down, everybody. Just gonna take a bit of a moisture from underneath. Don't worry about it curling round. It will uncurl when they start to heat this side. So the paste doesn't melt or move. Um, if you leave the heat over it, it will bubble. So I'll show you that. The can. There, can you see it bubbling? The paste doesn't move because it stays where you you put it, basically. I'll just catch up. There's a few comments whizzing by. Deborah, just thought, wouldn't it be fun to all be together with Esther and Ruth trying out all this stuff? So the paste doesn't melt or move, I've never thought of this. Are you using regular Whisper White cardstock? Good question, Christine. I am, yes. It's not the thick stuff, it's the normal stuff. <laughs> Deborah says, Tammy, I'm not sure how much we'd accomplish. Be too busy laughing us early. There, look at the gold, look at the gold. You need to let the texture paste set first. So um, putting heat on it, it does um, dry really quickly. Um, normally it would take longer to dry if you just left it normally to dry like that. That's still a bit soggy under there. So let's go in with some gold butterflies. And this time we're going to choose, I've decided. Mm, I haven't decided. <laughs> I do want a, a more open butterfly, so I'm going to go for this one here. So this is from the Butterfly Gala stamps. I know I said it earlier, but it's just in case somebody might have missed it or wanted to know. Um, Versa Mark. See, everything's kept in the basket so I can find it again. Now, colours, purples. Are we thinking gorgeous grape and highland heather? I bet you are. Or we could do rich raspberry and blackberry bliss. Oh, what's it going to be? Uh, Anna says for foiling, it needs to be have a bit of sticky on it, left on it, so that it can actually stick to the paste. So do you want to go... Uh, oh, thank you, embossing buddy. Well done. Um, do you want to go dark purples or... Um, in fact, I'll carry on and you can reply. But what purples do you want? Do you want Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape or do you want deep purples? 
pretty polite. So we're going to go in with the butterflies. Use my dust bag. Dark with gold. Whoa. That would look nice, actually. <laughs> you guys are saying light. Okay, I'll, I might just grab out a couple and then you'll get an idea of... Pebio paste. Is that the embossing paste? Island Heather and Gorgeous Grape. I don't know, I'm veering towards the darks. But, um... Oh, Athena, it is fun. Fun, fun, fun in the sun, sun, sun. Oh, my heat tool has gone. Do you know what? You've worked me too hard. I have had it on earlier, so I just need to let it cool down. It's a safety aspect of the tool. In the meantime, I'm going to grab up the purples and then we'll make a decision. Um... Bear with me, please. I've lost one of my... Oh, it's over there. That one and that one. Where's, where's the other one? Hold on a minute, I can't read the comments because I'm just trying to find... I've, I've lost a black with less. Just trying to relocate the, that one. Have you sneaked into here? I think you have. Oh, yes, you have. Okay. So, imagine those purples, or oh, we've got the lilacs. See, I'm thinking these. I'm thinking the dark ones for change. No, it's not ready to switch on yet. It's okay. Right, so I'm thinking get some Blackberry Bliss cards. Stop. Oh dear, my card's getting very low. Look at that, look at that. <gasps> look at the blackberry with the gold. I've got my rainbow shining. Isn't that stunning? I love that colour. It's so rich. I think we've decided. I've decided. <laughs> oh, I smudged. Oh well, that could be for the inside of the card. Trying to cool it down. There you go. You're ready now, aren't you? Either way, it's going to look great. Ah. Thank you. It's just going to heat up this look at that rainbow. Very regal, yes. Sometimes, I don't know if this happens to you, but you get drawn to certain colours that you want to use. And kind of, I don't know. You can, I can kind of visualise what it might look like, I guess. What's the point of me asking you if I end up making my own decision? Sorry. <laughs> Let's sit on my ink pad, hold on. Okay. Right, let's find... So we're going to go in with Blackberry Bliss. I've boosted him up recently and Rich Razzleberry. Nice and inky. Again, just kind of concentrating in the middle. Not being too fussy as to where these are landing because I want them to colours to merge. I love this um, purple with with an orange colour. Oh, thank you, Tammy. <laughs> Sorry for not actually going with what... Well, mind you, some of you said you wanted this, so I'm not kind of completely dismissing you all, am I? <laughs> I just have the final decision. It's, it's my broadcast. I'm going to have the final decision. <laughs> oh, dear. 
but like I said like I think you know sometimes you can visualize how something's going to end up looking so you want it to go that way rather than any other way ain't no other way I keep forgetting about the little butterflies who's got this stamp set has anyone got this set I think when it first came out I did um well I did do a class with this and I used it quite a bit and sometimes you can o not overuse stamps I don't mean that but use it a lot to the point where you're ready for a break and then after your break you're ready to then come back to it again <laughs> it's my design after all yeah I guess, but you know, it's nice to know what goes on in everyone else's mind as well, <laughs> not just my brain. <laughs> oh dear. Because we all have different ways of thinking and being creative, so it's quite interesting. I suppose it helps not giving you too many choices, doesn't it? So some of you out there have this stamp set already. If you're interested in owning this stamp set yourself, you can contact me at stampinstarcreations.co.uk. Well, that's my shop and my deets. So a few of you, a good few of you have got this stamp set. Um, I've seen quite a, some other demonstrators use it recently and I kept thinking, oh, I should really pick it up again. And I'm pleased I have. Okay, so I'm going to get somewhere. Hmm. Where where would it be? Where would you be if you were a little cloth? Hmm. Okay. I can't find you. Are you hiding? Oh, well, I'm just going to use the corner of my towel. I'm just going to rub over the. Oops, smudged it. Don't rub it. <laughs> I just wanted to take off that excess ink over the gold bit so that um, it will shine through. And now we can do, 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 do. punch them out. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing what the gold and purple is going to look like. Now, just a little tip for you. If you want to stop them jumping around, just place your hand over over the top and it stops them jumping completely around you, then you're in a bit more control um, I need some blackberry bliss it's just got to do the sentiment bit actually what would look pretty is if you die cut out the, um, oh, is this going to be long enough for my sentiment? If you die cut the sentiment out with a stitched, oh yeah, is it? Is it going to be big enough? It's going to be tight, but let's give it a go. I was just looking at these stitched shapes and thinking that would look pretty as a, a label, but I haven't got time for that today. I need to go and have some lunch. So... <clears throat> Going in with gold again. Don't forget the embossing, buddy. I've got a mark on that side. I'm going to turn him over. Right, let's see if we can do this. Everybody hold your breath. Or maybe just me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the way I roll. Tiny little smudgy right there. So thank you so much for joining my live. I'll be back again tonight to do something else. To do, uh, hmm, what am I doing tonight? I've got um, I've got a baby card to make actually. Let's do that, and I'm going to try out a card that I've never tried before. Facebook
Christine says she loves the butterflies in these colours, would have never tried the colours myself. Good, and well, I hope I've given you some inspiration to go and try it yourself. So this little trimmer is so handy for little things like this. Right, I'm going to try and speed it up a little bit now. Now, which butterfly had the dodgy wing on it? It's that one there. Now we know what we're doing. Um, is anyone else crafting today? So I've decided that I was going to have a day of crafting today. Just get in my craft room. I've been missing my craft desk and I've been wanting just to get back to it. Doing concentrating on other things instead. Um, Deborah says, I just despair that your choices are usually better than mine. <laughs> oh no, oops, oh, 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 I nearly put somebody in timeout, sorry. Oh, it's, um, it's not about better, it's just about learning experience partly. I mean, I've been doing this for oh, at least over 20 years, not stamping up, but cars making and crafting. Oh, incidentally, um, on my Facebook and on YouTube, I think I've asked people to submit, I think it was just on Facebook, I can't remember, questions, any questions that people wanted to ask me, I'm going to do a Q&A session and I've decided to divide up the Q&A so that, um, into, into three different sections, a uh, past, present and future. Some people have asked me things like, um, how did you get into Stampin' Up? Or how did I start my business? Things like that. Um, and then present questions about favourite colours and stuff like that. And then future, so like, well, actually, I won't give away the questions. So um, if you go onto my Facebook group, SSC Inspired and Shared, or on my Facebook page, Stampin' Star Creations, and you've got a craft related question, then you can ask me on there. Let me just draw you back a little bit. Uh, Tammy says, I had to finish a card I made out of my first attempted one sheet wonder. Whoop, whoop. Oh, no, no, this silly thing didn't tell me you're on. Oh, Wendy. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm coming to the end of my broadcast but you get to catch the best but you get to see all the well if you don't want to see the finished product then you might want to look away now but uh, I've done various versions of this basically and this is the last colourway that I'm trying today and I'm going to go and get some lunch but I will be back this evening at around about nine-ish sometimes I go over time on Facebook um, right. It's quite nice to um, make a collection of cards and use the same same layout, but in different colours. It helps you with your thinking. <laughs> like if something works, then why fix it? Look, the butterflies are all stuck to me. Um, And it's nice to see what it looks like in different colours anyway. There. Uh, oh, one for the inside. Okay, let's get this done. Thank you for sticking with me. And um, let me know if this is the first time watching. You might have stumbled across my channel. You might have never seen this kind of thing before. Um, you may want to see it again. Got a big delivery essay and did it in three YouTubes. Whoa, that is a big delivery. I'll go and check that out. So Wendy does YouTube videos. She's done some really... Um, she's going through the alphabet, aren't you, Wendy? Of different... Um, which is quite a fun idea. Using different stamp sets and techniques with the letters of the alphabet. These colours would be good for your sympathy card. Yes, I do have somebody in mind to give this to, actually. So... 
Right, let's bring on the other ones and guess what? You get to vote. <laughs> they are all very different. I don't know if I can choose. Well, I don't know if I choose a favourite. I can choose a preferred. But I'm not going to give that away until. Let me know what you think. Beautiful trio of cards. I must dust off my embossing paste. Do. So that's going to be my challenge over on SSC Inspired and Shared. Wendy says it's K this week. Oh, what are you going to do with K, I wonder? The letter K. So copper, silver or gold is probably the best way to vote for this. Actually, or one, two and three. There you go. You can vote that way. I'm going to do a Ruth. You can vote. Good morning, please. I'm just coming to the end. Purples and blues, says Vicky. That's interesting. Prefer one and three. Deanna likes Blackberry Bliss. Welcome, Deanna. Hi, Miss Jenka. I'm just about to come off. Two and three. Or oh, three, three. People are liking the gold. It's still looking for QNX. Yeah, I'm not surprised, Wendy. And number three. So a lot of you are liking the golds and the purples. I think purple just generally is quite a popular colour. Purples and blue seem to be really popular. Three, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Three, one, and two in that order, yeah. Christine likes the blue one. Oh, that's interesting. Copper, no purple. No, wait, copper. <laughs> and also now you can mix and match. So you could have purple and copper. You could have blue and gold. There we go. Thank you. It's just interesting to see all different tastes. Tammy can't decide. I've been watching you on the TV, so I have to quick get to my phone to chat. Ah. Oh. Tabby can't decide. Sorry, I should... Whoa, there you go. You get to see my shelf. <laughs> I should have given you a warning. What's going on with my arm? There we are. There we are. This is me. Thank you so much for joining me for this hour of crafting. <laughs> and um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, please. That would be much, much appreciated. You can support me by sending me PayPal at my PayPal details. You can do a super chat, which YouTube do take a percentage of that. You can order through my shop and I will send you a catalogue if you're in the UK for free. UK, Germany, Netherlands and Austria, I think I can send to. Um, you can support me by ordering through my online shop. Craft making and creating is such a therapeutic thing to do. It's cheaper than therapy. So, well, I'm not sure about that. They say that. But uh, <laughs> lovely to see you. Uh, just catching up with comments. I need to make a way to chat on the TV too. Yes. Can you not do that on your phone, I wonder? You are welcome. Great to have your company. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back this evening with some more projects. It's lovely to have a day of crafting. I've got some washing to put out now and a bit of the, the um, lawn needs mowing and things like that. Thank you, Denise. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye for now.